I was about to make some peach sorbet and I had posted about it yesterday. So I thought I would jump on here and show you how simple, and I just wanna show you how my, I have like one of the most beaten up food processors in the world, but it works. Um, but I learned recently that we were at a ice cream store, like a small business ice cream store in Chattanooga a few weeks ago and they had a sorbet and I forgot the combination, but it was really good. Um, I forgot what I got, but it was really good. And I came home and we were saying, what, what is a sorbet? And realizing after I ordered it, that it actually had it listed on their main menu. This was like a shorter menu. It had it listed as non-dairy. And since I need to avoid dairy, I'm finding, I've been told I probably should. And the more I actually venture over into dairy, the worse it is for me. So. I just, and I had had ice cream recently and inflammation pops up. I, 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 it shows up on the scales literally overnight. So I just need to avoid dairy. Plus there's, if you're looking at your ice creams, make sure you get one, make your own or make sure you look at the ingredient list and there's not a whole bunch of other stuff in there that it's really just like milk and flavor, you know, the whatever fruit or whatever's in it, vanilla or whatever flavor like that, but, it, but it's natural. That's just my little PSA. But for sorbet, sorbet is non-dairy. It's basically fruit. And I even looked up the difference in sorbet and sherbet, because I love sherbet. And sherbet is about the same thing, but they add a little bit of cream in it in order to make it creamy, you know, to make it a little creamier and you can see that difference. So, I started thinking about, well, let's, let's make my own, because <laughs> we went to the store and we actually bought some sorbet from the store in these cute little jars. But when I read the ingredients on it, this has dextrose and sugar, lots of sugar in it. And otherwise it had fruit in it. So I kept the containers, but I thought, okay, I can do better than this. So I have bags of frozen peaches and some other fruits. I have some of our blackberries from Johnny's uh, vines I've, or brambles. I've got I might still have some raspberries. Um, I can, but you can also freeze your own fruit. And that's what we did here is when we got, we had wonderful peaches last year. I just cut them up. I don't even peel them. I cut them up, take the pit and stem or anything else out. I've, I've washed them in my veggies, fruit, young living fruit and veggie soak first, you know, to get off anything. Um, and then I just, I cut them up probably in about eight pieces for one peach. I lay them out, usually with some parchment paper on a baking sheet and put them in the freezer. And then, and I have a big deep freeze, And you, but if you have enough room in your freezer, wherever, because you wanna separate those slices. Otherwise, like even right now, they're a little bit bundled up together, but I can break them apart by just putting the bag on here because you want each individual slice to be frozen. So freeze your fruit if you don't already have frozen fruit. Give yourself about three or four hours at least for that fruit to really freeze because that's key to making this. And then I'm, I don't measure. So I'm just gonna pour some into my bowl here. I'm gonna guess that's about two, maybe three cups and I'll have to put this bag back in the freezer. And then I need to process this. And in the meantime, I could drizzle a little bit of honey on it if I needed, if I felt like it needed a little more sweetener, sweetness to it. You could use a little maple syrup. I, I recommend that you use natural, whatever you do, and honey that's local, if possible, raw and unfiltered. Make sure it's real. If you're buying honey from the grocery store, from a brand, trust me, it's not honey. It's, it's something altogether different. It might have started as something that resembles honey. But I have some pure stevia extract. I have it in a canister. It's just that white powder. I will use some of this because I don't use sugars. Um, I try to stay away from sugar as much as I can. And this pure stevia extract, I've got a quarter teaspoon here. Um, honestly, that would be plenty. Um, so I'm gonna stick a little bit of that in there. Um, I could drizzle some honey on it if I wanted to. Um, that's another way, but that would just add some, and peaches have enough sugar on there. And then I'm just going to process these. So I'll turn it off and I'll come back because you don't need to hear this part.
Okay, I'll let you watch just a little bit because you'll you, this thing will be very off balanced at first and everything, but I want you to see, you can see inside, it's not sorbet yet. It's almost like a dry, chunky, so it's um, that's, that's normal. So whatever fruit you put in here with your little bit of sweetener, whatever sweetener you use, and if you use honey, that's gonna moisten it up a little bit. But at this point, I just add some water, and I think you can stand to hear this. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water and let you see what actually happens. I'm gonna turn it back off. <laughs> see it's starting to get that that kind of soft serve look I need to stir it up a little bit just you know wipe down the sides of your bowl um, a little bit but I'm just gonna dip some out and show you just look how wonderful that is I mean it's just it's about the perfect consistency and notice I really didn't measure anything I just poured water in until it was right at this point I could actually taste it now sweet enough um, that quarter teaspoon is plenty. If you have um, any of your natural sweeteners that aren't sugar, just this is to taste. Um, at this point, I could add in some of my essential oils. Like last night, I added a little rosemary in because I love the combination of rosemary and peach. And I'll be honest with, with you, one drop in this much was a little bit much. So I probably am going to have to use the toothpick method, which is dip the toothpick in and just swirl it in here to give it enough essential oil. Um, but like cinnamon bark would be awesome in this because you get that almost like peach pie. Um, I could use my Thieves, which has clove and cinnamon and all, and I'll use my Vitality oils, but that's it. And I have sorbet. You can just, um, I actually last night put some in a container and put it in the freezer, and it's really like too hard to eat right now. So I'm going to leave it out and let that thaw um, and see how fast. But I think if I added a little vegetable glycerin in, it would make it come out of the freezer and be able to eat. So just wanted to jump on here and show you how easy it is. Any fruit, frozen. I could do combinations. Like we put a little bit of pineapple in with our peach the other day. It was really good, but the pineapple kind of overpowered the peach. So I wanted to taste the peach. I love peaches. So anyway, just thought I'd show you.